extremely pleased this morning that the cruise ship got in on time, um, actually a little bit early. The first uh, passengers came ashore about 11 o'clock. Uh, she had a, a very safe anchorage. Um, the weather is absolutely gorgeous. Had 114 people on board. And this is the, the type of cruise vessel that we've identified um, from years ago as what we thought would be um, successful for cruise visits to Cayman Brack. It's a small vessel, um, 200 people. Um, it brings a clientele that um, have much more spendable income than the average uh, larger cruise ships. They're looking for adventure. And, and this is the opportunity that we believe can add some, some balance to the tourism product of Cayman Brack because of adding cruise visitors as well. Um, we're very aware that it's an open roadstead in Cayman Brack and there's not a safe anchorage. Um, enough days of the year to really book some of the larger cruise lines. But if we can take our time and find the smaller cruise adventure vessels that their, their passengers are looking for the adventure coming ashore, the small island that um, has in all um, practical purposes, as can be said, has not been discovered by mass tourists yet. It gives them the opportunity to brag about a place that they've been where their friends have not been. And in this cruise vessel, the company itself, um, certainly suits that type of uh, profile of what we've been trying to attract. So we're very, very pleased this morning of how it's going. We're very pleased of the interaction that the guests have had with the craft market that's been set up and the island tours that they're taking and the interaction um, with the, the island people. Uh, we are here. Um, we're here to meet them and greet them. And, and they ask us a lot of questions. And, and that's a, a really, really nice take this morning to hear the questions and the compliments of what a beautiful island King of Rack really is. The ship is completely international. People from Europe. That means Belgium, France, Switzerland. Switzerland. Uh, yeah. And then, of course, from Australia, Canada, South Africa even. Okay, and why did you pick this particular trip? Well, the reason was, to be honest, to go through Panama Canal. Because we started on the Pacific side in Costa Rica, and we wanted to go to transit the Panama Canal once in our life. But, and then the trip ends in Cuba, and on the way is the Cayman, of course. So, your business wants to reach potential customers. Cayman U Service can put you in front of more than 10,000 every day. Not only are more of your customers online than ever before, but it's more cost-effective to reach them there than anywhere else. Now that's headline news. Get in touch to find out how Cayman U Service can help put you in front of more customers for less.